Okay guys, I'm going to do a little bit more in depth uh, walk through the room. Got a couple requests from from a few people. Um, we'll just start where we left off here. This is the ball python rack. It's uh, mostly 28 quart tubs and uh, mel melamine. This is my blue eye leucistic male. He's getting to size where I'm going to put him with a female this year, hopefully. This is a normal head albino female. This is my spider female. This is my female. She's a jigsaw. And she's building her nest. Hopefully, uh, soon she'll be uh, giving us some eggs, some late year eggs. But uh, she's a Mojave in a pinstripe. This is one of my original ball pythons. This is Tully. She's a normal female. This is a normal het pied. I'm going to be feeding after this, so everybody's a little bit anxious to jump, so I'm not going to open that one. And here's the male het albino. Alright, uh, just moving on to the smaller rack here. This is my male um, pewter phantom uh, cinnamon pastel and phantom okay now we're going to move over to the um, baby rack still not a whole lot in here but uh, We'll take a look at what's in here. Here's Tonx. She's a um, Montana locale uh, hognose snake. She's getting nice and big. Whoops. Still a little jumpy. This is a male. 100% head pied ball python. This is a pastel GHI who's in heavy shed, but still I'll just show them. Let's see. is a banana fire. Okay, moving on up here. You have Justin the bearded dragon. Duke. He is a Guyana true red tail boa. He 
is the leopard head albino female boa. This is blue. She is psychotic. Anytime I come near the cage, she thinks I have food, so then she bum rushes me. So we will not be opening this right now. This is Tripod, the female bearded dragon. In here we have my Savannah monitor. His name is Chunk. Right now he's trying to dig his way underneath those, uh, um, underneath the ret rack there. This is Ming. It's a mountain horn dragon. And here we have my Russian tortoise, Leia. Oops. Hiding a little bit here, but uh, this is where the jeweled lasaders are. See, they're making their own, own holes. I use excavator sand plus play sand and some topsoil. Mixed it all together and they've really been enjoying it. This is one of our newer additions here. Come on, huh? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. This is Crowley. This is a um, translucent bearded dragon. I bought it as a beard, uh, as a leatherback, but it's starting to look as though uh, it's normal. So I'm gonna have to be, I'm gonna have to talk to the uh, breeder about that. This is Snowflake in here, the albino garter snake. Here's the albino garter snake. Quickly growing in size, so it'll be figuring out new home for her. This is uh, one of my two adult racks um, for boas mostly. This is Cinder. It is a super hypo pet type 2. Let's see if I get some better right. Super Hypo um, Het Type 2 Annery. This is my T Positive Sun Glow. Boa. I just want to show you the tail, look, show how red it gets. This is my Tara Humara boa. And it's het for leopard. It looks like it's about to go into shed here, so we're not going to pick on it too much. But that's the male. And I'll show you the female in a little bit here. This is a hypo blood um, or a bloody sun glow. 
produced by uh, Perfect Predators. Oh well. And this is the second adult rack that I have. This is the female Tarahumara uh, het for leopard. And I'm not going to mess with her too much here. She um, is showing that she's gravid. So let's hope for babies. Fingers crossed on that one. Same thing. This is Fion. I'm going to get better video of her once she gives her babies, but she was bred with a type 2 motley boa. She is a type 2 uh, super ghost. I'll hopefully get some really cool babies out of her. This is a het blood female. She's gradually getting up to size. And both of those bloods will hopefully go with this male here. This is a uh, hypo double hat and it's double hat for albino, call albino and uh, for blood. And this is Bonnie. She is a western hognose. She's het for albino. So, not really intending to breed her, but uh, if I find a cool had albino male or albino male, maybe we'll breed her, but for right now she's just just one really really cool pet to uh, to keep. And in here we have 15 uh, bearded dragon eggs from Tripod. That's why she looks kind of deflated. And Justin. Justin is a scaleless and when Tripod has better heat and color. She'll actually color up really nice and get some nice blue bars um, and show her citrus colors a little bit better. So hopefully we get some uh, leatherback citrus tigers. Fingers crossed on that one. So that's a brief look of my reptile room and a few of the animals that I have. I, again, I'm trying to figure out a good time to go about doing individual animals or in groups of animals, but they seem to be shedding off and on, so they're not really cooperating the best. But once uh, once I can get that taped, I'll get that up for you guys. And if you see anything that you want to get a little bit more better look at, just let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and keep watching my videos. Thanks.